Hey Michael, how are the webinar registrations coming along? Great, I've got about five so far. Five? Yeah. Five. You mean to tell me we've got a database of 8,000 and we've only got five registrations? How did you market it? I put it in the newsletter as we agreed. Well, the newsletter was supposed to be one marketing channel, not the be all and end all. Well, Phil, perhaps you should have been a little bit clearer. Clearer? I distinctly remember our conversation. So, when it comes to marketing, we've got to start with the end in mind. It's a lead generating exercise, right? Right. So, would you say 20 qualified leads would be a good outcome? Absolutely. Great. So, we know what we want to achieve. Now, when are we going to hold this? I was thinking Monday, the 30th of September. Michael, that's a public holiday. Well, that could be good, couldn't it? Not for this audience. And even if it wasn't, think about your Mondays. Would you be willing to give up an hour of your time to watch a webinar? I mean, Mondays are pretty busy for most of us. Okay, Tuesday, 1st of October. Yeah, the, the day after a public holiday is not much better either. I'd say we do Thursday the 3rd at 11 a.m. Mid-morning's good because it gives people a chance to check their emails, grab a cup of coffee, and they're still tuned in enough to focus on our webinar. Whatever you say. Okay, sorted. Now, we've got a budget of $300 for marketing. How can we do that in a cost-effective way? We can send out a newsletter. Well, we can incorporate it in the newsletter, but we also need a dedicated email. Otherwise, it'll just get buried in amongst all that stuff. There's a method to your madness. What other channels have we got to distribute? Ah, I'm glad you asked. So on the cost-effective side, we've got email marketing, our company website, and email signatures. Okay, I'll take care of the email invitation and the company website. Great, and we'll update our email signatures. I mean, we send out so many emails, it only makes sense. Yep, done. All right, now why don't we think about spending some moolah? Now you've got me. Now, our webinar is about sales training, so why don't we think about investing in some Google AdWords? Sorry, lost me. Well, think about all those people typing in sales training or advanced selling into Google and our webinar ad coming up first in the search results. Cool. How much does it cost? Well, it's pay per click, so it depends on which keywords we use, but it's worth investigating, right? Sure. Let's give it a shot. All right. So we've got email marketing, our company website, email signatures, Google AdWords, and we can also get social with Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And I've got a separate database, so let's shoot it out to that. Great, so we're done. We're done. Sound familiar? It looks like I've got some work to do. Work, we're starting from scratch. Let's get to it.